Oh, welcome. Uh, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Actually, I'm feeling a bit strange. My predictions are all over the place today. So I was thinking about closing up early. Aki's predictions are always all over the place. Oh, that's too bad. I was actually hoping to invite you to go out with me for some fresh air for a change. Thanks for the offer, but I think it's best to stay inside right now. Oh, why's that? Something just feels wrong. How about we just stay in and watch TV instead? I never pictured her for a couch potato. Huh, it's not likely to worry. Anyway, maybe next time. Hey, wait, don't! Well, that sounded ominous. Yeah, that and also, this this could ties back to like our previous recording session, like the one with the, where the, all the audio got erased. Yeah. Yeah, I... Okay, headcanon time. Like, yeah, yeah. Aki probably charges an extreme amount of money for anyone looking to have their fortune read because... She wants that money to buy a bunch of, uh, like, anime merchandise, like both figures, <laughs> manga, and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe secretly be a, a cat idol fan on the side. I mean... Buy that unofficial cat idol merch. I, yeah, because, I mean, after all, we do know that Hexaville loves themselves a certain purple or lavender hair idol, which does yep. fuck all. Except, like, get impersonated by our gravity queen. Yep. And then, there is also the fact... Oh, wait. Out of reality. But hey, maybe Whoop. maybe Aki buys all the anime figures because Pandora probably gets a bit lonely. Yeah, and then there's also the part where it says she's a psychic. She'll obviously know where the best deals are. Right. Oh, this limited edition uh, thing that's like 3,000 gems? All I have to do is just wait like... Uh, a year, three months, and four minutes, and I'll be able to buy it for like 10% the price. <laughs> Brand new. Yeah, in short, basically, uh, she's a fortune teller in the streets and a weeb in the sheets. <laughs> All right, let's start this conversation. Sienna, how can you be, always be so calm? I can't stop thinking about bad, uh, about bad's about to happen. Something bad's about to happen. I wish something good would happen for a change. Huh. You're funny. Just think that all the bad things are good, and nothing but good things will happen. What? That doesn't make any sense. You just have to go back into your mind and change the memories to make them better. Just try to imagine how you would do things differently, and make it so that what happened, then all the bad things change to good things. But you can't change the past. You only get one shot at it. Everything you remember about the past is all in your head, right? Then that's all that matters. If you think something happened, then it did. But there's proof that things happened the way they did. The other people who were with me at the time, things left behind. Well, if you discover a contradiction, you just have to go back to when you discovered it and uncontradict it. Th that's nonsense. But then maybe if I fought that nonsense away, it would start to make sense. I only exist in the present. So if I imagine myself happy up until now, then I've always been happy, right? Ugh, I think my head is starting to hurt. Cat, just try it. Look into my eyes and discover your memories again for the first time. Wow, I'm having total deja vu here. I feel like I'm remembering something like this back when I first met you, too. So now we've unlocked Kakariko Village. Talk to Sienna to revisit Butume, uh, the city at the edge of the world, to collect precious gems or complete, or complete in challenge missions. Nope. Don't need to go back to that place. Yep, don't need to find a couple again, because we already did that. Yeah. Yeah, we, we spent a long time trying to find them there when we were, uh, when you were looking it up on your end on where we could find them. Right, in reality, like, uh, it, it doesn't matter, we got them all right. Hey, hey, get, get right. out of here, Cyanide. Hey. We don't need to put our gravity queen on the list. Sienna, we are not an orphanage. I am not your mother. I can't ask you to leave the party, but you can't stay here. That and, that and also, Sayane is technically, like, as a creator, so technically a god. So, shouldn't I? Yeah, I, all, all the gods want to live in my crack pipe. What the oh, fuck? Whoa. But, but yeah, either yeah. way, like, even though she might physically be, like, 12 or something, like, 
It's way too loud here. Like, being a god and all, she should be uh, capable enough to look after herself. Yeah, at least one of them can take care of themselves. Creator, Sienna, which is the, the dream guardian, and then Sienna herself. Oh, Man, God. that was just pitch darkness. Ooh. So let's see. Uh, oh, there's the conversation. I was looking for that. Let's see, the big announcement. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was, this was the guardsman you wanted the, the voice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I can do that. You know, I don't know if actually holding the X button to, like, uh, zoom in faster like that is faster, but for some reason I feel like kicking is faster, which is why I do it a lot. Also, it's cool. Uh, there's going to be a big announcement today. Mary Danelica himself is going to make it. Yeah, that's what I heard. Everyone's heading to the clock tower to see it. Rumor has it that the announcement is supposed to be about their big trump card against the Nevi. I hope it's true. I can't wait until the Nevi are all gone. Then <laughs> things can finally go back to normal. I don't know what the mayor's got up his sleeve, but I don't think getting rid of the Nevi will be all that easy. Yep. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, besides, you're talking to their tr to like to Hexaville's trump card right here flying through the sky. Yeah, I mean, this is the mayor we're talking about. You think a politician would lie to us, the citizens? <laughs> Why, I could never think that. Yeah, that, that's that's ridiculous. That, that that never happens in real life. Ah, pshaw to the idea of that. <laughs> All right. Star mission, episode 20. An unguarded moment. First gate, then Cyana. Dusky aside, I seem to attract the strangest people. Maybe it would be fun to have a roommate, and living with two creators co must come with some advantages. There was something going down downtown near Freedom Plaza outside a clock tower, so I wanted to check it out. I mean, sure, that, like, living with two creators, like, basically uh, two gods, it might seem fine, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't get, it gets kind of monotonous after a while. It sounds cool on paper, until you actually start living with them. Gade is constantly just like leaving his trash about, and then Sayana is just sleeping all the time. She's not even paying rent. Yeah, I mean, like honestly, I think a better roommate would just be a big titty goth bird GF. Yes, the the, the bird wife. Yeah. That Let's that see. or the rope. I wonder if I can spot anything. That or the robot, but um, yeah, she's probably too busy with military work. I just wanted to fly to the apple. <laughs> apple. <laughs> this is like literally the only thing that sticks out out of all this green and brown. Yeah, I mean, I... Is this one red apple. I mean, I like the cell shaded style, but I'm really glad that Gravity Rush 2, like, gives some more color to the scene. Kind of. Yeah. Alright, let's do this once and for all. Yeah. It's time to end this. Nice. Superhero landing. Gade, what are you doing here? Hey, is Sayana here too? The end is nigh. Are you ready for it? The end? What are you talking about? Call it creator's intuition, but I sense a disturbance in the fabric of reality. As if a great many things are moving towards the conclusion. It may be your last chance to go to the Rift Plains or take care of other business. Something big is about to happen. Well, if you say so. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to make sure I'm prepared for whatever you're talking about. Huh. Do I have anything? everything I need? Well, that's up to you. Fate is in your hands. Come to me whenever you're ready to begin the end. Well, at least this time we actually got everything ready. I got my 7,000 gems. Almost eight. Almost eight. Yeah, get... And that'll definitely be good enough. And I'm stuck in place again. You get right... Let me go, Gabe. You have to let me go. God damn it. Wait, are you... I literally can't move. Oh, oh shit. Um... I think this... I think this takes a second, because it did last time, but... Oh, no. I had to hit the circle button. Oh, okay. That's stupid. That prompt wasn't even there. But, yeah. I don't think there's anything else. I looked at everything. Yeah, but... The only thing... Oh. Only thing left that I'm not gonna fucking do is the challenge missions. Wait, you haven't done any of them? 
I've activated them, but I haven't, like, done them. Uh. Because I already did it once before on my original playthrough, and, uh, hey, it's so long, and thanks for all the shifting. And I planned in this game, so I'm not going to do it again. I don't need gems either. Uh, fair enough. Oh, yeah, I can get more gems that way. Oh, but yeah, but... But you do need them. No, to, like, wait! I can only do it the one time to get gems. God damn it! Well, if I one shot it. That and also, if you want to upgrade your health, which you're going to be doing a lot in the coming levels. Yeah. All right. So let's. I guess this is the last conversation of the game. Um, hey, Shifter, you've done well. It's been a pleasure working with you. Huh? What's this about? Look, don't take it personal. I thought you were great. Well, it sounds like we won't be needing your help anymore after today. Boy, someone's feeling so important today. Uh, okay then. I'm glad that was the last piece of dialogue. That was very important. Anyway! Yep. That's <laughs> I, that's basically Sony's conversation to uh, a Gravity Rush in a nutshell. So now we're about to finish off the game. As soon as I get there. Free fall. Nice. Oh yeah, there's another one other thing that's like... Wait, let's see if you can uh, skip this conversation because we've just read it through before. Yeah. No, I actually have to mash through it. Skipping it just like... There we yeah, go. Yeah, okay. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Yep. I'll be, uh... Danelica and the... I'll just be the villains, basically. Yeah, and I'll just... And Cat. Be everyone else. Okay. <laughs> Sup. Just like last time. Oi, hey, Cat! Ice cream for the road? What's with the crowd? What's going on today? No, Mayor Danelica is about to make his big announcement. Everyone's here to listen, so today's the day I finally get to make my big score. This cone's on the house. Hell yeah, free ice cream. Nicest you've ever been. Delicious. <clears throat> Audrey! Uh, Cat, do you know this man? He's Nelica's right-hand man. I've heard nothing but bad things about him. Who, Audrey? Ah, don't be silly. You must be thinking of someone else. Beloved citizens! You are gathered here today to bear witness to history. Today is the day we rid ourselves of the Nevi Menace once and for all! Join me in welcoming our new savior! Mega Ultra Disco Ball of Death! The Orb! Of Confusion! <laughs> What the hell is that? Uh, they're a new toy, apparently. Emergency! Incoming Navi! This way! Quick! No pushing! Women and children first! Hmm. Perfect timing, wouldn't you say? Gabe, I'll be right back. Cat, something's not right. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate the awesome offensive capabilities of the latest in military technology, the Sea Anemone! Is everything ready? Here, see for yourself. Anemone, mop that Navy garbage up! Episode 20, An Unguarded Moment. Nevi Nevi. You know what? How about no? You know, I mentioned it before, but that orb looks like oh, a... Wait, here uh, they come. A Sonic, like, boss. Like, Sonic Eggman would make. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, I think that might... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be yeah. right. And it's just kill. Okay, maybe I should just do well, something. Well, if it is, oh, damn. if it is, the I think I shot the back. Like, if this is a thing that Eggman made, then here it is, basically. Shit. Well, here it is, killing the Nevi with its super laser piss. Yeah. 
I'm going to piss on the moon! Ah. Instead, Mayor Danelica should have opened up his speech with, I've come to make an announcement! Alias pissed on my fucking wife! <laughs> Man, that Sonic the Hedgehog dub is so fucking great. I uh, know, right? I mean, they, they even did one for, like, Sonic 06. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I saw that one, that was really great. <laughs> Finally, a Denny's! <laughs> Uh, Fucking Denny's. <laughs> Out of all the things that got destroyed in the future, Denny's still lives, but... I also remember that one conversation with the, the friend zone in... Oh. What? I, I, he just fell the place. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that weapon took out all those navies so fast. Ah! Oh! Camera! Damn it! I got hit by the one fucking loser I didn't want to get hit. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Team? I can't grab their shell. Mm -hmm. Not until the second uh -oh, game. Look up oh, look oh, at a space dinosaur. I think it looks more like a jer- Do not want. Well, I think it looks more like oh, a- Oh, they just teleported when they hit the ground. Ah! I was gonna say it looks more like a giraffe on meth to me. I, I yeah, mean, look at it. I just call it a space dinosaur. I don't know. I, I'm just thinking of like a the brontosaurus oh, rex or what, what the, the hell? fuck? Oh, thank God, it got blown to oblivion. Okay. Yep. How did they make the sea anemone so powerful? Um, probably a healthy dosage of Asakoko. Yeah, that would do it. All right. The military has harnessed the power of Asakoko. <laughs> Their new weapon is a real beast. I'm glad it's on our side. Oh, um, yeah, best best not to jinx it. Yep, it's totally on our side. There's no way this could absolutely backfire. Well, it's a good thing they just didn't give an M any artificial intelligence, or did they? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. I did robot Unica Shifter! You are under arrest! Provision 113 of the anti nevi Act! Resistance would be unwise. Um what? You're arresting me at a time like this? The C and M and E can handle the Nevi. Your assistance is no longer required. We don't need your kind of trouble around our city. I will protect Hexaville now. But what did I do that warrants the rest? Aren't there more important things to deal with? We have to work together to save the city. Orders are orders. Surrender quietly. There's no need to get the or, there's no need for this to get violent. Unless you plan on resisting arrest. Well, aren't you the model soldier? Obeying orders at any cost because it's easier than thinking for yourself. Hmm. Orders, orders, orders. You always just do whatever your commander says. I thought he was better than some two-bit yes-man who does whatever the mayor asks. Unica, think about it. If he doesn't need me anymore, what's going to happen to you when it's your turn? Stop talking! No. And I'll make you stop! You can try that. Damn it, she tried it. I should probably play this a little smarter than before. God damn, she does sharp curves. I mean, that's what happens when you go up against the super fighting robot Unica herself. Got her. Wow, she was moving. What, what the, the hell? I don't remember her doing Oh, she that. can do combos? I guess that's what happens when I stay in one place for too long. Honestly, like... Who Oh, like, with her homing kick! Ah. Like, with her potential to do combos, I really hope she is playable and, like, if Gravity Rush I remember comes that out. Raven could do combos on me, but I didn't remember Unica being able to do that. Shifter! Why won't you come quietly? It'll be easier for both of us. I'll decide what's best for me. I'm not gonna go quietly, so if you want to arrest me, come and get me. Fine. I didn't want to have to use this, but it seems you leave me no choice. Weapons control. Requesting stingers. 
Damn it. You may want to upgrade oh. your health. Or just find that. Oh, right. There's health down here. Whoa. So, yeah. Um, you may want to watch out for her lasers. There's no way I'm running away from this fight. Where'd you go? Right there. Whoa. Damn it. I forgot she could shoot me from a distance. Yeah, she's got her own version what the? of the Mega Buster. Oh, that's bullshit. She had her stingers blocked. Weapons me. control. Requesting stingers. Alright, there's probably gotta be health, health items in the park here somewhere. Is there anything you could throw at her? Whoa! Oh. Come here, you! Oh, nice. I didn't know I could actually ground her. <laughs> Come back here and fight like a bee. Oh, wait, you're a wasp. Yeah, and, uh, Whoa. Yeah, and bees only sting once and then they die. Well, those, well, those wasps, what? those fuckers. Oh, oh shit. shit. Now's a good time to do the thing. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> but yeah, wasps. And that's why I was hoarding gems. Whoa! What the hell? She just came right up to me. Damn it, I only got one of her damn. Every time I think of those stingers, I can't help but be reminded of... Oh. Looks like I'm a little tougher than you thought. Maybe you should run back to your commander and request some new orders. I'm tired of you insulting the military! I'm done taking it easy on you! Engaging, sa engaging safety override. Pulse response and regulator in sync. Output increased to 121%. 121%? That's more than 110%. Yeah, every time I think of those stingers that she has, I can't help but think of the funnels from, like, Gundam. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that does remind me a lot, like, of the funnels. Yeah, and there's sometimes- whoa, whoa, whoa! Sometimes they're called, like, other things depending on the Gundam model. Like, uh... Like, uh, in Gundam Dumbelo, they were called, like, fangs for somebody. Alright, let's finish this. We need to get back to Gundam Unicorn. I like- I watched, like, the first two episodes, but... I need to get back to it. After tying up loose ends, seeing the sea anemone in action, and one final dogfight of Unica, we're reaching the end of our journey. Coming up, the last chapter, no rest for the virtuous. Until then, see you on the last one.